What's up guys, Max from MaxWorks here, and today we are gonna be building a front staircase for my boat. Um, as I mentioned in the other video, I had knee surgery about six weeks ago, and getting in and out of the boat right now is really hard and will be for probably another month, month and a half. And one of the things I've been thinking about even before all of this was on modern boats, and I'll put up a picture, a lot of times custom trailers are made, and those custom trailers include a set of steps that go up to the front. And it's a genius idea, and I have no idea why older boats didn't do this, probably because it's like a luxury item maybe. We're gonna build a custom staircase for the front of my trailer, basically using three inch square tube and some three inch angle. Um, that's just gonna make it a little bit easier for me to get in and out of the boat. Um, so let me, let me kind of show you guys what we're working with here. So as you can see, this is just uh, your basic um, kind of three inch steel. Unfortunately, everything here in Austin right now is super crazy expensive. Um, because of the um, uh, construction shortage. So the price of square tube steel has gone up considerably, um, which is lame. So this is what we got to work with. Um, I might end up adding a railing as well out of inch and a half I already have. Um, but the first step is to kind of get the base truss in and then we can figure out how to notch in the steps and uh, some design stuff. So. Let me take you guys outside and we'll take a look at the boat trailer and I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so here we are out at the boat. See here the tongue runs up to the front of the boat. Let me pan you guys out a little bit further. So that's the idea. And so what we wanna do is we wanna run a staircase up this way. And so basically what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna grab a piece of wood here, demonstrate is something very similar to that. Um, we're basically going to cut and weld and attach to the trailer here. And what this will do is this will create a staircase like this, probably like that. And so that way the front of the nose of the boat can never hit the, uh, hit the staircase. And once it's welded on, we'll reinforce it. And then, uh, it should be pretty easy to, uh, to climb up and down. And we'll make the steps wide so that they encompass both sides of the boat. And when that happens, um, you can basically go up either the left side or the right side uh, to make easy entry from both sides. And then we'll probably also add a step underneath here, underneath here, so that you know there's one step and then maybe three more steps up the uh, the ladder. tape measure to find that I need about a 32 inch run and about 10 degrees using an angle finder like this basically just took a piece of wood and played with the angle until I was happy with its placement um, so now all we got to do is set the chop saw to about 10 degrees cut it um, and just get to go. See right there, basically just have it tacked in. There's plenty of space to the nose of the boat. Um, the boat doesn't actually sit quite straight on the trailer. Uh, it never has. And so this makes kind of sense, but this is pretty much straight up on the, on the trailer here. So the next step is we got to figure out steps. And so there's two fundamental choices here, right? Like if we want steps to be parallel and we have a 90 degree L, we either have to cut in this way or cut in at the top. And I think I'm gonna cut in the top so that each step basically sits like this recessed on. Um, and then that way the steps will be, you know, reasonably perpendicular with the ground. Obviously it's a trailer, it's got a trailer jack. The angle of the boat is gonna change, but here we're basically at um, 
lower it down maybe just a little bit more so it's basically at the level that it is when it's attached to the truck and then we will build uh the stair cut-ins accordingly and hopefully just be able to use the plasma to uh, cut out those slits and uh, put them on probably three or four stairs total. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plasma cut out the end of it so that it'll fit nice and tight up against that uh, railing. What you see here, basically the top step, we're gonna have to cut out flush to make it sit, um, you know, exactly covering this top part. But down here, this is kind of the idea we're gonna go with. So as you can see, I've cut out, I've cut about two inches. Um, it's still a little bit off, off of level. So it's probably about two and a quarter inch cut out here. Um, I'll let you guys know once I get it perfectly fitted. But basically these steps are gonna be like this, which gives you, um, I think it was, 18 inches minus three fifteens, so seven and a half inches on each side um, of step. And basically step up on there, take the next step. There'll probably be one, two, three steps total. Um, maybe we'll do four, I don't know. Uh, just have to see how, how it looks. But so did a bunch of cutting and grinding off camera cause it's loud and annoying. And I came up with this design just to give it a little bit more style. We just have a little 45 here, flat spot, another 45 here. And then I just went through and rounded all the edges. And then we've got a, um, we've got two more of these. I don't want to touch them because they're hot. Um, and basically the same deal. So we're going to put um, them 11 inches apart. So at 11, 21, and then at the top, because this thing is uh, 32 inches tall total. And it should be a nice rigid step. Once we get these, uh, kind of weld it in and see what they look like um, at that point it's just a matter of finish welding paint and of course um, I've got some grip tape that I'm going to put down on top of them uh, but right now I'm just going to do one more final um, pass with the uh, with the flap discs to make sure there's no rough edges anywhere and then uh, we'll get them level and tacked in So you can see now, here are all the steps. Um, they're basically tack welded in and leveled out. And I think they look pretty good. Um, they're nice and straight. So now we're gonna give them, um, not a finished weld, but a few solid uh, welds and just see how they kind of feel climbing up and down. I'm a little a little shaky climbing up and down. This thing is actually super solid. Um, it's basically connected to the trailer. And when the trailer is connected to the truck, there'll be even less forward motion up here. Um, unfortunately, it's just the reality right now for me that I can't like take a step up with my left leg 
So it feels pretty good. It feels very stable. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. And I think at this point we can basically uh, finish well with this guy and uh, get it uh, ready for paint. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish weld it. I thought about adding some sort of railing or something like to hold with my hand, but I'm not sure that's really necessary considering how stout this is. Um, there's almost no flex in this, and so I'm not not super worried about it. I think we're going to try it out like this with no railing, and I can always weld some sort of secondary um, like post out here that I can grab a hold of to help me climb up, or maybe just even extend these guys a little higher um, to make it easier to grab. Thankfully, these uh, these pipes basically just bolt in, and they're, uh, they'd be pretty easy to extend upwards. Um, to kind of form a railing. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Uh, we'll see if it's needed. But right now I'm just gonna finish welding this guy in and I'm pretty happy with, uh, with how it is so far. Unfortunately, when you think you have a drop cloth, but you don't actually have a drop cloth, you gotta make do with uh, painter's paper. But this should be fine. Just don't wanna get any overspray on the boat. The trailer's just kind of a lot of There we go, all painted a nice gloss black. Um, we'll give it a few minutes and uh, hit it with a, another quick coat and that'll be pretty much it for this. I'll show you guys over here from the uh, back side. All nice and solid, all nice and coated. So here we go, this is all beautifully painted. And you can see I basically just added, this is just grip tape. Um, and I've used this stuff in the past. I think it's just literally skateboarding grip tape off Amazon. I've had it in the garage for forever. Um, but it does a fantastic job of both staying attached to the trailer and, uh, you know, providing grip in the wet. So I'm very stoked in the way this project came out. Um, it's going to be make launching the boat a lot easier for me. Um, so I'm super excited for that. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, like I said, this is a very cool feature that you find on, you know, modern day $200,000 wakeboarding boats uh, and their trailers. And it's super easy. Anybody can knock this out uh, in their driveway with just a welder and some basic hand tools. Um, so I love to hear from you guys. As always, this is Max from Max Works. Peace.